So Ethereum has a number of uh, test nets that it actually deploys the merge on first and the latest one has gone live. The ninth one, I need to actually, I didn't have time before this. I need to figure out how many left. All I sort of found was it's one of the last ones, but it's like, mm -hmm. it's like level nine. Like, dude, when did they stop? <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's part of the process, but apparently it's yeah. one of the final ones before, um, uh, before the go live and if, even ethereum you know the, the foundation they're not saying that this is final they're saying this is sort of proposed but look towards any official you know timelines uh from the ethereum foundation but you know if it moves you know don't be surprised if it moves again now uh last couple of ones really really quickly um you know some other fundamental bullish news came out uh, Polygon, right? So Polygon has been chosen to participate in Disney's accelerator program. Yes, so that accelerator yeah. program is a scheme that allows them to develop technology with a focus on immersive experiences, mm -hmm. NFTs, AR, or AI, that type of thing. Now, the one of the questions, if you've, you haven't been in the space for longer than, you know, three, four months, an obvious question that arises is why? Why Matic, right? Why the well, Matic is obviously a layer two on Ethereum. You know, it's not even the most robust. It doesn't even have the most features. It doesn't even have its own NFT ecosystem. Why? Well, you know, Ahmed, you and I have spoken about this previously last year. These big brands like, you know, Disney, they're not going to risk it on Flow. They're not going to probably even risk it on Avalanche. They need solid, solid yeah. fundamentals. They need, they need security. It's the biggest. It's the baddest. It's been around. It's slow and expensive, but it's secure. You know, it's... Yep. Decentralized is such a funny word in our industry because so many things are not decentralized, but it's as close as we can get to. So these guys take safe bets. Um, and, and this is this is actually a really, really big deal. Like they're actually going to be investing. They will provide investment capital to Polygon as well. Um, and of course, they rose, you know, 11% up 46% this month. So really, really bullish things. Now, in terms of Matic, because, you know, the next obvious question is, oh, you know, when should I buy? When should I buy? Well, by the time you and I are thinking I should buy, and th this is why everyone's like, oh, every time I buy, it goes down afterwards. Because the point is you're buying off bullish news like this. The point is you're, you're buying after a move. You know, if you don't understand, that's why it's important to understand, I, th I think, in my opinion, charting just, just a little bit, even if you're an investor. Because you look at Matic right now, it's in oversold territory. The RSI you can see it's above that, that dotted line. It's oversold territory. It's clearly bounced off the 21-day moving average. Does that mean you shouldn't buy it? No, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it. But what I would do is right now, I would probably wait for a bounce off of that 21-day EMA, um, which is around 55 cents. As we're at around 71, 72 cents right now. Not financial advice, not even something I'm looking to do, but that's how I would answer should I buy, you know, Matic.